Residents of COVID-infected estates in Aochiwan and Kuntang flocked to get tested this morning. And in the legislature, the health chief tried to allay concerns about the safety of vaccines. Johanna Chen reports. Safety was uppermost on the minds of lawmakers when they discussed the government's COVID vaccination program. Health Minister Sophia Chan said under emergency usage measures, pharmaceutical firms may be exempted from legal liability. Now, if that's the case, if they are free from liabilities, so if people are injected and something goes wrong, people, uh, members would have to shoulder their own responsibility. Chan tried to assure the legislators. We have a mechanism to monitor and to register all side effects and so on. She also said the government will not rule out setting up community vaccine centers to provide jabs to the public. Chief Executive Carrie Lam announced last week that the government has secured 15 million doses of the vaccine. Chinese University infectious disease expert David He explained to the lawmakers why universal testing isn't a good step. We have a population of 7.5 million, and uh, the lockdown may last for a few weeks. Will businesses and members of the public affect, accept a lockdown of a few weeks? And it's not that uh, you can cut down uh, the uh, cases to zero after universal testing, because a few weeks afterwards there may be another imported case. Meanwhile, residents lined up for compulsory tests at Choi Wan Estate in Ngao Chi Wan, where a number of people in Ming Lai House have been infected. There were also long lines in Kun Tong for people living in Tat Yi House in Po Tat Estate. This man said the arrangements were late, as he took a test last week. But he brought his child with him in case both needed to be screened again. Residents of other buildings were advised to undergo voluntary tests. Johanna Chan, HKIBC.